Okay, this video pertains to the Tractor Supply Grand Teton pellet stove. It's the largest stove in their collection, and it's made by Mr. Heater. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys this. I just found it today as I got shocked working on my stove, literally. Um, this is super unsafe. This switch assembly in the stove needs to be replaced. Um, it can't be UL listed. It's made for probably 240 volt systems only, not for US 120, because what they're doing here is they're fusing and switching the neutral line. So people shut this off thinking they're safe, but you're only killing the neutral. You still have ground and 120 volts passing through into the stove. And that's how I got shocked. I shut this off thinking, okay, you know, the 120 volt is dead. There's only neutral and ground going to equipment like it should be. But that's not accurate. I'll show you. In the US, the right plug, there's ground, right and left. The right plug is line. The left plug is neutral and the bottom is ground. And I don't know if you can see that. I can't tell on the little screen on this camera. But it's even stamped on this plug. A little N there. A little L over here. And E. And you can see on this end, it mirrors this. You'll see there's a little neutral, ground, and line. And uh, we can prove that by doing a little continuity test. This should be the line, the 120 volts. And we've got nothing here. And we got it here, the line. Nothing here, nothing here. So, and now if I plug this in here, turn this on. We'll put this on the line side again, and we'll find it. Okay, there it is. Now I'm going to shut this switch off. It's this beeping stopping is me coming off of the connector here, but nothing. Now if we put it on the neutral side, and we measure, find the neutral, there it is. They're shutting off the neutral. And further digging in, the, um, the fuse is actually on the neutral side as well. So yeah, very dangerous. You need to replace this with a US or UL listed version. Um, it's very dangerous if customers shut this off. You're breaking the neutral. And uh, you're leaving the live through there, which is really dangerous. Okay, here's the plug and switch and fuse assembly with the back taken off. You can clearly see the hot wire just passes on through. The only thing that's going through the chain, uh, through the fuse and through the switch, is the neutral wire. So I would suggest just not using the switch at all if you're trying to kill power to your unit to do maintenance or for the summertime, unplug it. Do not use this switch. There are some on Amazon, if you're confident in your electrical abilities, that will fit right in this spot and you can wire up correctly. That's what I'm doing. But anyone else, I would suggest just, if you're trying to kill power to your stove, leave the switch in the on position at all times. Don't even use that switch. All right, guys, I hope you found this video useful. And by useful, I mean, I hope it keeps you from getting shocked because I shouldn't have been if the switch was wired correctly. Um, it was very minor. I was reaching in there and made contact with a motor neutral. 
but because the 120 was going through all of the circuits through the motor and coming out of the neutral it ended up getting me and this is why you switch the, the hot wire and not the neutral wire all right well thank you i appreciate you guys watching the videos as always and i'm trying to build up my youtube so if you can subscribe that would be awesome that's like an indicator to me that i'm actually useful in some way when making these videos uh but if you don't want to do that at least give me a like i appreciate it thanks have a good one